What is going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today I'm here with Fab's Money. It is part two of our little tournament series. It's actually the same organization, King of the Glades. They're running another tournament similar to the one that you guys saw me do previously, which I got 10 pounds, uh, which is pretty bad. But same tournament, Fab's Money is back with me here. Yeah, it's gonna be a decent day. The rain is gonna be on and off. That's what the weather says, um, but we're expecting a little bit of sunshine. And later on today, maybe some rain. I hope not, but we'll see. The goal today is to do better than last time. I think we could pull more than 10 pounds out. We're a little bit more knowledgeable of the area. We've been practicing. So we're here. we got a bunch of rods and reels rigged up. I'm going to go over my rod and reel setups later on with you in the video. Stay tuned. It's going to be a fun one. Fabrizio, hmm? we're going to do this. All right. That's a good one. Oh my oh, gosh. What the fuck? Dude, he dude, he felt like a giant. First fish, you guys. I think that's actually a keeper. Oh my gosh. On the spook. First fish of the tournament. Is it a keeper or do you do you not even want to like bother? Whew, that was a rush. I thought that was a big one, bro. He ate like a giant. Usually the small ones you can kind of tell. But this guy did not hesitate to just completely destroy this thing. First fish. I guess we'll take it for now. Throw him in there. It's going in. First one. Try to get some more. What was that? Oh my god. Did you see the mouth? Did you see the mouth of that? Oh no, it's a freaking massive bowfin. I didn't. I didn't know both didn't even hit top water. Oh my gosh. Come on, buddy, shake off. Oh my god. This guy's gonna break my rod. Jeez. Do you think these people over here think it's like a 10 pound bass? <laughs> Holy mother. That is a giant bowfin, you guys. Do not want that. But we gotta get him out of the way sooner or later. Pass me those pliers. Good riddance, my gosh. All right guys, so before we really get into the tournament here, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I'm using, my setups, uh, what I'm doing going into this tournament and what I'm using. So today we have four setups today, all by Cast King. Um, they are all, all well, three of them are Perigee 2 Heavy 7.4s. And this one is on a Cast King Spartacus Plus. I got 30 pound braid. And I have 20 pound leader with the shaky head, eight inch purple worm. This is my worm rod setup. So that's what we're gonna be throwing today, worm wise, on the spinning setup. I have 20, oh, I'm sorry, 12 pound black mono, as well as the Sharky 3 spinning reel. And that is on a Perigee 2 medium seven foot one rod now this is a super super light sensitive setup and i love it i have the wacky rigged setup on this with a 10 j hook i believe so that is the wacky setup that's going to be thrown today if needed this setup i have is the like i said pair g274 heavy on a white max has 50 pound braid with the hollow body frog tied on this is going to be to get in deep into those pads. It is really overcast. It's on and off rain, on and off sunshine. So they might be taking cover into those pads and I might be able to pull it out with the hollow body frog. The last and final setup that I have is probably what I'm going to be throwing all day or if not the majority of the day is the Perigee 2 Heavy 7.4 with the Speed Demon 9 3 to 1 ratio, the super, super fast reel. And what I have on here is a, oh, I also I got 30 pound on here and I have a Zagaya spook. It is so loud. I'm not sure if you guys can hear this on the water, but take, listen how loud this thing is. It's got like freaking marbles in here. It is so, so loud. So this is what I'm gonna be using on the very edge of the pad. The frog was to get in the pads, but this 
is to cast on the edge of the pads. In practice, or a week ago or whatnot, when I was practicing in this area, the majority of my bites were on the spook and they were just killing it about two, two and a half feet off the edge of the pad. So that's what I'm going into today. That, those are my setups. Hopefully we have a phenomenal day. We'll see how we do. Let's get started. Also, if you guys want to check out some of these products from Cast King, rods, reels, uh, braid, mono, all that kind of stuff, I'll leave links in the description below. Check out those links. It does support the channel. So definitely check them out and possibly get one for yourself. These things are awesome. Little guy. What the? You saw that? Something came up to eat him. I think that was a gar. All right, little guy. Listen, go call your parents. Tell them we're going to have a little parent teacher conference. Family, oh my grandma, God. Grandma, your grandma. grandma. Go call your grandma, please. I think that's a decent one. Oh, stay down, boy. Nah, he's small, dude. He's just kind of like hooked on the side. I think. Yeah. Keeper? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a chunky one. We'll take him. On the spook. Switched up to a worm earlier. Went back to the trusty old spook. Right on the corner of the lip, look at that. Another uh, minimum keeper, but we're gonna just try and fill up the well. Top five. Slow start of the tournament, but. We'll take him. There you go, buddy. Whoa. Oh my God, are you kidding me right now? That's a good fish, dude. You kidding me right now? Dude, what? Back to oh. back, good fish, get him. What? Back to back cast, I was just saying how we. Oh, he just came off. Oh my God. But I'm telling you. What? All right, I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him. Oh, Here, get the chiller, get the chiller. You guys, I just put that fish away in the well, made the next cast, caught another keeper. And I was just saying that they were right on the edge of the pads. And he just ate it right on the right on the land. I didn't even have time to work that thing. And he completely demolished it. That was a bad cast too. And that was a bad cast. So yeah, I cast it short. Yeah. Woo! Alright, here we go. Blood's pumping now. Another one going in the well. Non-stop well droppers, bro. Oh, you lost him? No, you got him. Fabrizio, is that your first fish? Yeah. That is your first bass. Well, all right, not a keeper, but we made a quick move and it seems to be paying off. We literally just got three bass in three minutes. Nice. Dang, bro, this bass is the size of his lure. That's insane. Look at that. I mean, that is a brave bass. That is a determined bass. He just wants to be big. <laughs> Good job, bud. Relax, bro. No one's gonna touch your eggs. I am hungry though, so. Yeah, get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> yes! Let's pay attention to this stupid bird! <laughs> oh my gosh. Another good one on the spook. Dude, the spook's killing it right now. Another keeper bass. This guy is chunky. Josh, what is this bird's problem? He almost made me lose a fish. He feels threatened, bro. In the box you go. That's four. Get him. Good fish, get the net. Oh, yes. Big and big and big and get him, get him, get him. Where's it coming from? Oh, I see him, I see him. Oh, oh, oh. Fabrizio, yes. <laughs> yes, dude. 
Oh my God, Fabrizio's first solid fish of the day on the worm. What did I tell you? Dude, what did put I tell that you? boy in the box. Yes. There we go. This guy's going in the box. Beautiful fish, dude. That makes five. That's a, that's a nice fifth fish. I think it's a giant bass, dude. If that's a giant bass or a giant bowfin, he just got off. Oh my God. Bro. Oh, it was a gator. Okay. Woo. I thought I had a 10 pound bass. Because I swear I saw white. Wow. Dude, I was like, we won. I, I, oh my God. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Oh god, guys, it started pouring rain. Oh my gosh. If I recall, it started raining the exact same time in the exact same place. Last tournament. Dude, let me get out of there. We are getting completely rained out. Completely rained out. It's like hurricaning outside. Watermelon. Watermelon. What do you think, bro? I think this is it. I don't know if we're done or not, but. I don't think we're done. I just think we need to wait this, or we need to wait for this to pass. I don't know how long this is gonna take. You guys, this is like out of nowhere. Literally like one second and sunny. And the next second, it is like completely downpouring. Ugh. Rain finally let up. Oh my gosh. We're going to try and fish for a little bit longer. I'm, I'm kind of discouraged. This weather is just so terrible, but we're going to, yeah, I'll throw a spinner bait. I'm going to try my best. To, we've got a couple hours left, and we're going to see if we can pull something out. Yo, reel this in for me. Be careful with trolling mode. I don't know where it is. Whew. Guys, we decided to call it. That rain was just brutal. It stopped for like two minutes and then it started up even worse. We're calling it for the day. Yeah, we do have maybe an hour left, but it just wouldn't be worth it to risk all the cameras and whatnot that I have. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna grab the boat. We're gonna weigh in. And I just hope I did better than last time. Let's see what the weight is. We got five fish. Thank God we at least got five fish. We got a couple good fish. Fabrizio hooked onto a really, really nice fish um, on the worm earlier as you saw. And I got some good fish on the spook. So it's weighing time. Let's see how we did. Spook fish. Um, spook. <laughs> Which one? Week seven? Oh, we better go to that spot today. Oh. And Warmer. the worm fish. I'm in the water. Please over 10. Nine, nine, six. <laughs> Oh my gosh, nine nine six. Still better than the last time. <laughs> By a couple ounces. By like 0. 0.2 ounces. <laughs> Here we go. We're releasing our fish. Later, guys. Thanks for biting today. We appreciate. Revive him a bit. Get that big one in there. Oh, that guy's ready to go. One's off. Two's off. Is that the big guy? No. Three is. Let him go. Oh, there he goes. And the big one. Later, bud. We appreciate you. Do him a couple minutes or a couple seconds. He's, a, he's had a rough day. What if a gator just came and destroyed him? There he goes. And he's off. Man, that was rough. We, uh, as you heard, we got 10 pounds. 10 pounds. 99. Six, so I, I'm rounding it to 10 pounds. Technically, it's better than how we did last time, but damn, tournaments are rough. I mean, I asked a couple other guys 
that were fishing and they said they're terrible too they got like 9 10 11 pounds it was really really tough out there but we did a little better than last time we found a couple new techniques we found a couple new spots we're really putting in work trying to figure out these waters and we're just gonna have to wait till next tournament to uh try and win but this tournament definitely got us and the weather uh, whooped us too. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more tournament videos. There's a lot coming up, so let me know. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you later.